So my family, it's sports family. Uh, my mother and father uh, do athletics too. And my father is sprinter, uh, old sprinter, and mother is a long jumper. And uh, we all times uh, watching all competitions, Olympic Games, World Championship, and different competitions. Uh, also like athletics. Um, then we, when I uh, going to school, I started in uh, different sports. And uh, first I uh, started in uh, swimming, then gymnastics, uh, then uh, I learning in uh, Olympic uh, school, sports school. Then I try their all Olympics, uh, also Olympic Olympic sports. Hmm. It's box, judo in uh, Azerbaijan uh, have many wrest wrestling, hmm. and uh, so it's big sports, national sports in uh, Azerbaijan. I try, but I don't like. Mm. Then, uh, uh, when I come some 14 years old uh, and started athletics, then I do some for fun because it's a young time. I do it for fun. Um, and uh, for junior, no, for US World Ch Championship, my father says, because uh, we start with my father, uh, my, my father says, uh, we need training for this competition. And uh, if we compete good, we do more. If we not do, if we not good competition, we not good compete, um, we going and learning and uh, go learn in, in university and uh, mm. for science, you know. And, um, when I training, I feeling is uh, result is coming good, mm. and uh, I go there and compete and coming second and running 20, uh, 72, and uh, make result for Olympic Games, and uh, coming second, and I feel it's uh, my way for my, for my uh, for future, mm. and. Uh, I started to professional and uh, training started training twice uh, per day and uh, it's my it's my uh, I was a big step for a professional career. So what was it about track and field over all the other sports you were trying? Um, what was it that really made you choose track and field? Was it your family or? Uh, yeah, it's first my family because we every time. Uh, look competition um, every every time speak about athletics because my uh, in family in coming from athletics mm. and um, when I go first time to athletics um, when I coming and the next day one coach says uh, tomorrow we have competition you compete there I says how I coming Today it's first time, but uh, he says uh, you can uh, running. I say yes. <laughs> it's easy. You only running. At, that's all. Mm. I say okay. And uh, next day I coming, make warm up because I do before sports. I, I know what's a warm up, mm. and uh, I compete 60 meters, and running some eight point something. I don't remember, <laughs> and uh, running can win and win this competition and then I feel so it's coming so easy for me okay. <laughs> <laughs> because first competition I don't know what's the, what's the start blocks so how the, we need running no techniques no nothing and coming and win I feel it's my uh, way and uh, start and do it so what was it about the sprints was it always for you that you've been a sprinter or did you try a long jump or any other events? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try 400 hurdles. I try high jump. I try uh, 40 meters, 80 meters, 800 meters, mm. uh, 400 meters. I try many, but uh, when I running first time 800 meters, 
I go in one lap and then stop. <laughs> <laughs> I say enough, it's enough for me. Mm. And uh, 400 meters uh, trying, it's coming good, but uh, it's hard. It's hard and uh, I try a long jump. It's coming good, but we not we not have a coach in their time. Mm. For uh, maybe if we have good coaches for uh, long jump, and maybe I do now long jump. So last year for you was quite a breakthrough year in, in many ways. Um, I think it's fair to say before Paris Diamond League last year, not that many people would have mm -hmm, been aware mm -hmm. of you on an international stage. What was that? like coming into 2017 and, and how do you feel, what, what was it about 2017 that made it all kind of click for you? Uh, it's a big year for me in my career and uh, we do 10 years before mm. for, for uh, do in 2017. Um, it's my year and uh, I do some big step in my career and uh, it's open for me so uh, so, so so big support for do, doing more mm. and uh, I think it's not uh, a last <laughs> a last uh, result in my career I hope so we can do more and uh, we need do more in a uh, some, I want some five, seven years more doing. It's only one, one step in a big step, but it's a good step in career. And uh, we have more world championships and uh, Olympic games. We need training and uh, this uh, result give me support. So what was it like coming home after the first Diamond League win, after the World Championships? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How has that changed things for you? Um, I think before competition, example before Diamond League and before World Championship, I feel some, um, something changed, something mm -hmm. big changed. When I win, when I, uh, if, if I win, um, it's something, something big changes, mm. but I don't feel something. <laughs> That's only or one competition I winning. So it has life know. at home changed much since you won at the World Championships? Uh, of course, in, for my country, it's a big, a big medal for uh, history mm. for uh, Turkey because before we don't have a gold medal in World Championship. And, uh, it's some uh, history for country. Um, for me, have little much uh, support for doing more. Uh, but and this all, I don't some uh, I don't have some changes bigger something uh, happiness. <laughs>